3644 has always been a uh, lecture discussion based course so where it's a fairly typical format where I lecture, I assign readings, uh, the students do a variety of synthetic and analytical exercises, write exams, write papers, uh, and this year I just decided to throw all of that out the window and think about the course as a class sourced course where they would actually create the content by doing these original research projects on their blogs. Blogging really gives students the chance to follow their own passions and express themselves and do uh, research in a way that enables them to follow their noses and kind of come up with an original take on something. And so it just seemed like transferring that to a more um, content-based course where not rather than seminar format where usually you sort of proceed in chronological order through a series of events that if you use the blogging format to let them dig into topics individually that that could be really interesting. There were many helping hands for this project. So the project was supported by network learning initiatives, the library, and Telos. So one of the things I wanted to do was help students leverage those resources which are magnificent and significant alongside the freely accessible repositories that are out on the internet, including 17 Moments in, in Soviet history. And then I also had the idea that Gardner Campbell gave me of thinking about using the blog template as the kind of interface for getting the course out there. So this course used a magazine style template, so it looks kind of like a newspaper, um, and we curated the weekly posts into a weekly edition that was organized around uh, the post that they did each week. But in a class of this size, I never would have imagined that they would be able to do this kind of work this well and improve over the course of the semester. Scott did an awesome job of conceptualizing the installation uh, around the Battleship Potemkin, which is a famous silent film that the library actually owns a 35 millimeter copy of. I think it just um, speaks to the importance of breaking down the walls of the library and of the ways that a uh, lot of progressive libraries are starting to think about uh, getting their collections out there and the work that's done in those collections accessible to the public. Oh, my God.